Hey guys, Narcocycling FPV, and if you just got done, if you watch one of the videos on the DJI goggles, uh, these ones right here, we did a video on them to try to demonstrate to you guys the problems that people were having, right? So, um, so we couldn't get it to work, right? We had DJI on the phone, and it wasn't working. So here's what I decided to do because I really am frustrated with DJI on this one, and uh, and uh, I, I think that it, it speaks loudly when uh, they've come out with this product and we have all waited and it's not working properly. So here's what I'm doing: um, I'm going to go ahead and break this entire drone down again. Uh, you guys saw me do this before. I remember we did this live. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> the purpose of breaking this down this time is going to be because I'm going to actually take it apart and um, I'm going to ship the part out to you guys. Uh, sorry, I need to get a, a, a storage, storage container here. I'm going to actually break this down to the bare minimum. Okay? And when I do that, I'm going to see how much I can break it down to in order to ship it to, to around. I'm just going to put it in a package and send it around the U.S., and um, send it to people with the battery and the charger and, the, and, the, and just the bare minimum in here and let you guys activate your goggles as we go, okay? This is absurd. And I'm sure they might come out with fix halfway through me doing this, but the fact of the matter is, is right now uh, there is no fix and I feel terrible that I have customers who uh, bought stuff that is not working and it, and it does, it irritates me, right? So I'm gonna do this in hopes that you guys can pair them and then when you pair them, we can get it to work. this hoping that this is going to work so let's just do this we're going to plug this in because I want to update this as well and I want to do this let me grab um, let me grab these here real quick and these are little foam landing pads and I basically need to cut these in half it seems so let me just 
Let's see if I can do that. Let's see if that's going to be the right size. I should be able to put the battery in. It should be a straight. I think that's going to work. So let's try this to see if we can produce a somewhat level setup. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to actually stick this. Maybe right here. This is, I mean, we're, we're taking a guess here, so hopefully this will work. Let's try one right here. Um, well, you know what? Maybe it'd be better just stick this. No. I'd rather use it on the battery than put it on the board itself. I can't peel the damn stick thing off. Okay. Let's try this for now. Okay. Hopefully that gives us a low, yeah, that should. That level? No, it needs to be a little, you know what? It may be actually the full length, hold on a second. Because what I wanna do is I'm gonna stick these together and make them permanent for this task. So let's try this. Let's not cut it. All right. This one here. Let's put this one here. Simple. Hopefully this will keep it perfectly straight. And it looks like that actually might do that. Okay, so now what we have, you see, is we have this where we're not really putting too much stress on the ESC. That's all plugged in. The wires aren't kinked, so that looks good. So now what I want to do is I want to I'm going to power it up. And I'm hoping that the computer will allow me to update. So let's see if we first see it on the screen. This is going to be the big test first. All I can do is hope at this point. So far it doesn't look like it. doesn't look like it's wanting to... Oh, there it goes. DJI FPV drone. Oh wait, you guys can't see that. Sorry. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and click. Okay, let's see. This would be pretty interesting. Uh, that's fine, I don't care about confirming that no fly zone. So we are literally running the entire unit like this. Okay, fan spinning, everything's working. Now I have, um, I'm gonna check the heat. So far it's fine. Okay. Okay, so we're done with that, so let's go back. And then, uh, let's go ahead and confirm the update. I don't even know what this is. I guess it may be up, I have no idea. We're gonna see. Okay. So let's, we can look at it this way. All right, so we've got our entire unit here. So once we set this permanently like this, okay, that'll, I think, work pretty well. So we could ship this, right, to everyone. Now it is warming up a little bit, so we're gonna have to be very careful to make sure that we don't overheat it. But I think we're going to be okay, actually, because once we do the firmware update, we would not be wasting time with this. Okay. And instead, what we'll do is we'll house everything here. I'll put spacers here as well. Now, those actually, uh, I bet those would have been good right here. So, crap. Let's see if I can. set and thinner. So maybe, I don't know, oops, figured out. Probably need to quit screwing around with this thing. <laughs> Let it finish its update first. 
Now the battery, I think, is going to need to have some charging done, obviously, before we do anything else. So let me go get the charger. Okay, so that looks like it's restarting. And then I'm gonna get this charger ready so we can start charging the battery. Okay. I'm not sure for activation or not. Okay, so it says our update is complete. So now with that said, let's go ahead and go back here. All right, let's click back. Let's see what we got. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead now and upgrade here we go. Let's start. Uh, must be greater than 43%. Okay, so we're going to click back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this now. So let's close that. Yes, we're going to quit. And I'm going to stop the video here. Let's turn the battery off. There we go. Let me disconnect it. All right. So I'm going to go ahead now and plug this battery in and charge it. So we'll give this... I don't know how long it's going to take, and at the same time, I might as well go ahead and start working on this area. So, um, all right. So I think we might be headed down the right path here. So I'm going to charge the battery real quickly, get it to where it needs to be. I can go ahead and power off the, uh, the goggles for now, um, and we'll be back in just a minute to continue the rest of this video. So hang tight. All right, guys. So here's what we got here. We got the um, uh, we've got the uh, goggles here. I brought another pair of goggles down. Sorry, I was looking at the screen to make sure we had everything online here. Uh, so I brought another pair of the goggles down. I was able to get mine to go once I did this little setup with this contraption here. But I did three steps, and I want to know which one was the defining step. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and plug this new set of goggles in, make sure they don't show to be activated. I want to see what firmware is on here. Okay, so we're at the setup screen right now where it's asking us for a language. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click start to go to English. And it says it's not activated, unable to take off, right? So I'm gonna go to the uh, settings and go to about, the firmware on here is 4.1.4.10.0.0.0. Uh, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna plug these in to the computer. And let me show you the computer screen here. So there you go, and I'm going to use the standard, um, uh, <clears throat> uh, barrel connector to XT60. So let's go ahead and, uh, let me see something here real quick. Okay, so we're gonna do the um, V2 goggles. Now, we are logged in on the after sales side, uh, which is what everybody was saying to do. I don't wanna do that. So I'm just gonna go straight to the newest version of the updates right here. So to do that, I'm gonna go back and I'm going to log out of the after sales, that trick everybody was trying to do. I'm gonna close down the program. Yes, unplug the goggles. All right, now I'm gonna go back to the software. This way we're not using any other tricks. We're gonna do it as if you had your own account. All right, so here we go. We should see the FPV, the V2 show up here. There it is. We're gonna click that. And we're just gonna download the updated, uh, we're gonna update the newest version, which is 0101. Not sure why this download is now taking forever, but we're gonna go ahead and let it happen anyway. So I'm gonna come back once this download because it looks like it's gonna take a while. So I'll be right back here just to. All right, guys. So we're at the updating portion now. Um. 
So we're 74%. We should be done here in a second. So I figured I'd just step back in now, see what we got going on. All right. And so we're going to, matter of fact, I need to get a pen and just log the steps that we're doing. So let me go ahead and do that first. Okay, so let me get a pen here, a piece of paper. Everybody's got my paper. All right, here we go. I'm going to try this first. So. I'm going to say step one, upgrade to 01.01.00, whatever it is. Okay? All right, that's about right. All right, now, once step one is complete, we're going to try to do an activation. Okay? We're at 79% right now. So we're going to see if we can activate in just a minute. Okay? And we are currently using... Just so we know, there's no confusion here. We're using with step one, we're using the uh, XT60 to barrel. And we are using the standard USB-C to PC. What is that, USB-A? I think something like that, whatever it is, the standard one, okay? Also, we have our standard DJI unit. It has been updated and it is rubber band together. When you break this drone down, this is what you have left, okay? Because what I'm hoping is that I can just ship this piece with the battery charged to everybody to activate, right? So I think right now our battery is at 75% roughly, okay? So let's just see what happens here. I don't know if we're stuck at 84% or what, but we're going to keep, I'm going to give this just a little bit to run. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll stop the video here. And we'll come back. Okay, so we've heard the system reboot. So I assume that we're going to see some progress here. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like we're moving a little bit here. 97. Okay, so we're going to get to this point. All right. So our update is complete. We can click back now, right? Let me get the mouse to recognize. Let's click back. Okay, our version is up to date. So we, I'm gonna close our program here and click yes. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back and we're gonna look at the goggles now and see what the message is. Okay, so the message on the goggles, I'm gonna try to, um, let me see if I can show you this. I'm not sure if this is gonna be, how hard this is gonna be, but it'll just be only for the purpose of um, let me see. All right, so if you can see the screen, all right, I'm just gonna use my iPhone, but I think you can see that. So we're on that activation page, um, the one where it says, here, let me see if I can zoom in just a little bit. You know, the one where you have this screen here, let me click this button, and you have to click this thing to activate. It says, plug in your devices and activate. So I'm gonna click okay, okay? And then what I'm gonna do here now, what we wanna do is we're gonna bring up the menu screen on this side, and we're going to go to the settings and then we're going to go to about and we're going to see that there is no option here to change to FPV mode, right? There's no option here at all and there's supposed to be, okay? All right, so now let me zoom out. Usually I use the microscope to have you guys read the screen, but right now I don't have that option. Okay, so now what we're instructed to do by DJI, right? Is we're instructed to take the dongle, right? They're a little... DJI dongle piece, which is right here. So let me go ahead and open that. Okay. We instructed to take this dongle, plug this in, plug this into here. We're going to open our app, the Fly app, right? And what we're most likely going to see is the image of the, there it is right there. You can see the, um, still zoomed in a little bit. Let me zoom out. Okay. 
you can see now the goggles are controlled. What we don't have is we don't have the goggles bound to a drone. So we're gonna use this as our bind, right? So we're gonna go ahead and power this on. Okay, I'm gonna power it up. You can just leave it like this, it doesn't matter. All right, now what we're gonna do is once this is up, we're gonna go ahead and put this in bind mode by holding the power button down for about five seconds. And you're gonna see that uh, bar, this bar here progress. Okay, sorry, I was covering that, but you're gonna see the bar progress. That means it's in binding, right? Samantha, you throwing a war out there? And then while, that's, while this is doing this, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna press our bind and get these to link up. Okay, and there you go. See how it went to solid? And now we have our screen that says activate DJI FPV. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna click agree. Confirm binding account. I'm using my account here. And it's gonna say it's restarting the aircraft. So let's see what happens. It says activation successful, done. So now we're gonna do this. Now it wants to know if I wanna do the DJI Care Refresh. Uh, I, don't, I don't want to do that, so I'm just gonna click the X. Okay, confirm. And I'm gonna skip the tutorial. Now, here's where I wanna see where I'm at, okay? Now, all of a sudden, my switch to FBB is activated and I can use my goggles any way I want. Let me show you now. Okay, so I'm gonna unplug this. Samantha, can yeah. you give it a rest for a second, please? Sorry. I'm just trying to finish this out. You're killing me. All right, so now you see, there it is. There's no need to go to the, I, this is if you try to do the, um, the DJI underscore after sales. Now you can see, let me zoom in. Sorry, I thought you could see that, but I'll, uh, I'll zoom in here so you can see it. Samantha has quit cutting everything in the world right now. Let's see. And that's the menu we're looking for, okay? So when we click that now, and we're gonna to go to confirm, okay? Now we've got three, we can power off our drone now. Okay, and you can take this, pack it back up, and uh, take this and pack it back up and send it. Now let me zoom out. Now once we've done that, we can go ahead and plug in. Let's power it off. Now we can plug in our USB to the computer, plug in our power. Okay, now let me open up the DJI Assistant. Yes. And look, we're gonna consider this later. And we can see here, um, we have a downgrade option finally, okay, if we wanted. Uh, but there's no need to really downgrade at this point. Everything is working. So what we're going to do now is we can go to our uh, uh, login. I'm going to put in my login information. All right, so hang on a second. maybe I don't know if that's what that says so that sign in and everything's good I mean we've got the downgrade feature if we wanted to which we're not going to do but we've got everything else so now we can go ahead and we can bind these to an area unit right so I've got everything here that I need 
So watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go grab an air unit that I have here available. This one, I think. once this turns green, I'm gonna go through the binding process. Here it goes. That's in bind mode. That's in bind mode. There we go. And now as you can see, I can see everything from here. Let me show you what this looks like. All right, and you can see now that I have the image from the camera. Hopefully you can see that. There I am upside down. So uh, there we go. All right, so, so this again becomes the workaround um, for the issue that we're having. Until DJI solves the problem, Basically what it comes down to is this very valuable little piece, if I can find where I put it now. Um, let me put the goggles aside. Uh, and it's going to be this right here, sorry. So this is it. This is what solves our problem. I mean, I say it's a solution. Uh, it's the entire, it's what, it's the necessary components to be able to, uh, and, and actually this is not needed. Here, we could take this one off. Um, because we don't need the GPS. The quad is uh, ready to go, and so all you have to do is bind to it. Once you bind to it, you can activate your goggles. I've done now two goggles using this one open setup, okay? And you can bind your goggles, and then you can activate, and then you're done. And you can uh, you can go ahead and then switch to FPV mode without having to do all the other stuff. So. Again, this is only if that failed. Now, for me, it failed. We tried the setup with the ODJI underscore uh, after sales and all that, and it still wouldn't work. Okay, so this is the uh, this is what came down to. So, for my customers, anybody that has one, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys a chance to contact me, and what we're going to do is we're going to ship this out. Okay, so um, here we're going to ship this out to you guys, and you'll basically just have to. Turn it on, bind, activate, turn it off, all right? Because we're gonna want this to then go from one to the next and you can't, and you gotta be very careful with this, okay? This is extremely expensive uh, and if it gets damaged, we've got some problems. So I've just gotta tell you that you've just gotta take it and, and pass it around and then, and then you guys can activate, okay? So that pretty much does it, guys. I hope that helps. I mean, this really sucks, but it is the way it is. At least we found a solution that I can, I mean, we don't have to ship a huge drone. This is pretty inexpensive to ship because it's not very big. Um, and so what we'll do is we'll fully charge it before it heads out. We should be able to activate pretty much anybody's drone that's out there. Uh, and you don't need to plug this in or do anything else to USB. You're literally going to bind it to your goggles, plug your goggles into your phone, do your update to the full, the newest update, activate, and then you pack this back up and send it. Okay. I uh, hope that helps. I know some of you guys asked me to come up with a solution for it. So there you go. If you have any questions, let me know. Go to cyclone50.com. Use our contact form. Also, please subscribe to our channel. You see the YouTube dot com forward slash cycling fv other than that god bless be safe guys and we will see you soon talk to you later bye